Okay, so we will start then with Amanyu Kumar. Yeah, good evening, sir. Yeah, very good evening. Let me allow the screen sharing. Yes. Now you can talk. Can you tell me your topic name? Yes, sir. Set up AWS Cloud for Stock Market Data Management and Analysis. Uh, is this uh, the name of your task? Uh, yes, sir. And the presentation also. So you will receive scores for this title, Set up AWS Cloud for Stack, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so then we can uh, start. Sir, can you see my screen? Yeah, I can. Okay. So, good evening, everyone. I'm Abhimanyu Kumar from Cloud Architect Intern Group. Today, my topic of presentation is set up AWS Cloud for Stock Market Data Management and Analysis. These are the content of my presentation. Uh, first, let us know about cloud-based investment platform like uh, uh, why we are using cloud on uh, for investing. Uh, uh, in today, there are, uh, cloud has become an emerging trend in the financial service industry, uh, such as algorithmic trading solutions to the cloud. Uh, earlier, uh, uh, it was like traditional method only, but nowadays investors and traders are looking for uh, using cloud for investing and trading purposes. There are two main reasons behind it. First one is that advantages provided by the cloud platforms, like there are various advantages uh, like scalability, uh, speed of trading and uh, cost savings also. And second thing is data provided by the stock exchange. We can analyze on those data easily by using cloud as uh, now, uh, as compared to the previous traditional base uh, we, which were used. So let us know how to set up a, a, about data management for stocks. So for that, we will use two services of uh, AWS. First one is S3 and second RDS. So, S3 expands to simple storage services. It is a storage service provided by AWS. We can store any types of data such as images, videos, document, and website contents on S3. First, we need to create a bucket on S3, then we can upload any types of file. Uh, in uh, this one, we got a, a CSV file for Bank of Baroda stock. Uh, it was a past March data, March month data. So we uploaded it on S3 uh, for analysis. Then RDS is relational database services. Uh, it is a managed relational database services provided by AWS. It allows us to perform uh, database uh, uh, activities on cloud. Uh, without installing or configuring any engine. We can connect to uh, any uh, which we are uh, able to perform uh, uh, database uh, engines such as MySQL, SQL, other engines also. We can connect with those servers on other uh, systems using RDS. Then for analysis part, uh, we have used AWS QuickSight. Uh, it allows us to uh, create and uh, interactive dashboards and visualize the data graphically. There are various methods by which we can analyze these data. Uh, so in uh, investing, first we need to analyze, then we can only invest as it, uh, uh, we need to manage risk. So that AWS QuickSight gives us uh, a, a great benefit for analyzing our data set. Uh, it, uh, uh, it can integrate with other services such as uh, Amazon S3, RDS, Redshift, and other third-party data sources like uh, Salesforce, Snowflake, and Excel. Uh, it provides powerful data transformations capability, allowing us to claim, enrich, and merge data from multiple sources. 
So in our project, we have uh, uh, uploaded data on S3 and uh, uh, data at uh, uh, and RDS. Then we integrated it with QuickSight for analyzing it. So S S3 bucket name Bank of Baroda was created and uh, a CSV file was uploaded in this. Uh, it is a screenshot for S3 bucket. Then stock analysis name RDS instance was created and engine which I used was uh, MySQL community. Then using the RDS instance endpoint, I connected it with my MySQL engine so that I can uh, uh, see that whether data sets are uh, uploaded or not. So like we can see that if uh, I run the query select star from stock bank, data bank Baroda, then we can see the data sets are uh, uploaded here. Then we need to connect it with QuickSight. To do that, we will uh, choose RDS and then we will select uh, from RDS which data sets we want to upload. So as in this case, Bank of Broda is uploaded here. So we select that. And as per our convenience, we can visualize it using uh, any graph such as uh, like uh, pie chart, bar graph, other which are according to our ease. So for, uh, I can show demo now. So first uh, bank of Baroda uh, bucket was created. So you can screen, see my AWS screen. Yeah, it is visible. Yes, sir. Uh, so bank of Baroda S3 bucket was created and a, a CSV file was provided to me and I uploaded it here. Uh, then RDS instance uh, was created named stock analysis. Uh, so I selected uh, MySQL community engine and uh, uh, for connecting with MySQL, we need to use this endpoint and port. Uh, so I connected it with MySQL workbench. Uh, we need to give a password during uh, creation of uh, Work, uh, uh, RDS instance, and then using that password, we can connect it through our MySQL workbench. So we can see that uh, data are uploaded here. It's a uh, uh, stock name Bank of Baroda data set of uh, month of March. Then for analysis part, we need to use uh, AWS QuickSight. So as in data sets, there are various parameters uh, such as volume, high, low, uh, stocks made on uh, and date. So we can analyze it like uh, according to our ease, like uh, there are various analysis I've done on average of volume and average of high by date. And then we can analyze like uh, uh, using uh, other, uh, visual types such as uh, vertical bar chart, then there is option of, uh, according to us, there are various options uh, which we are comfortable, we can use those analysis part. So moving further to advantages of uh, this setup. Uh, there are many advantages, I have included three of them, such as speed of trading, data and analytics need and security. Speed of trading, uh, like we can, uh, any time analyze from anywhere, no need to like carry whole data set and uh, whole software. Like uh, uh, we no, do not, no, not need to carry MySQL workbench in every system. Then data and analytics needs such as we can analyze using various visual type, uh, which allow Amazon QuickSight allows us. Then security is provided by IEM and KMS. Uh, like uh, uh, in trading, it's uh, like I said earlier, uh, risk management is there. So we need security. So uh, uh, AWS is uh, uh, giving uh, 
for authentication, authorization, encryption, and segregation of data, IEM and KMS are used. Moving forward to conclusion part, uh, in this project, we have seen how we can easily import data to Amazon S3 and run analysis using RDS and QuickSight. Uh, setting up AWS Cloud for stock market data management and analysis can be a high effective solutions for individual who are looking to manage and analyzing large amount of financial data using cloud. Uh, these are the references. So if you have any questions, you can ask. Thank you. Okay. Thank See, you, sir. Uh, your presentation was good. It was really well explained. But I believe you can make it more story. Uh, you know, in terms of story, it was not good. Okay. Okay. See, try to uh, simply try to give a, a scenario type presentation. Okay. Like have a scenario and then give a presentation based on that so that you have something there where you can start. And then you can have your explanation, which is already good. Okay. okay. So just make a scenario, okay? Find okay. some examples of where this can be implemented so that you can start and you know you can take uh, attention of your viewers with that story. Okay. And okay. other than that, when you are telling that there is a reference, make sure you explain yes. what the reference is. If I go to that reference, what I can expect, okay? okay. Try that okay. and again, in the end, instead of thank you, you can simply say these are my, uh, like you no know, uh, email, you can contact me if you have any queries. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. Other than that, I would say it was really well done. Yeah. Okay, sir. I will take this as well from next yeah. presentation. Uh, just show me the task name again. Okay, wait. Yeah, uh, we'll move on to next one. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Uh, then, uh, in line Asia, Korea, I believe uh, I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, Linesia, your uh, camera is not working properly. It is flickering. Can you uh, try to turn off and on? Okay, sir. Hi, now. My screen visible. Uh, wait, turn your camera on. Yeah, yeah. Now it is fine. You can start. Okay, sir. Uh, so, hello, everyone. My name is Linesia Korea and I am from Java Developers Group. And today I am going to speak on the topic of our overview of project synopsis stock trading application. Sir, I think my camera is not proper. Should I turn it off? No, no, uh, keep it on. Just uh, carry on with your presentation. Okay, sir. Uh, so today we will ask learn about the following things. Uh, first, we will come to know about the project overview. Then, what is stock trading? Need for stock trading? Basic working of any stock trading app? What are the objectives to make a stock trading application? Then, the features of a stock trading application? Then, steps to build a stock trading application? And uh, what are the requirements to build a stock trading application? So the project overview. So in this project, we are going to build a software stock trading application uh, that will allow the users to buy and sell stocks online. So this application allows users to access real-time stock market data, view their portfolios, and execute trades instantly. 
so first we will understand what is stock trading so stocks are stock trading involves buying and selling of shares of a certain company that uh, that is if you own certain stocks and shares of a company it means that you are owning a piece of that company and uh, any person who buys and sells stocks is known as a stock trader so why do we need a stock trading application so traditionally uh, people used to uh, go to a stock broker um, or a bank um, to uh, buy stocks but now with this application uh, stock trading has become very easy so convenience so because of stock trading anyone can uh, do stock anyone and any uh, how he can do the stock trading real time access a stock trading application provide real time information about the stock market data making it uh, effective for the users to buy and sell stocks online next is cost effective um, stock trading application charge lower fees and commissions compared to traditional brokers and that is why it is cost effective to the users next is accessibility um, so because of stock trading application uh, anyone can invest in the stock market regardless of their location and financial background next is uh, portfolio management so stock trading application uh, has many tools for users to manage their portfolios uh, such as uh, giving recommendations news alerts etc so how does any stock trading app work so first when the user uh, opens uh, the application then his account will be created after that he will have to link his uh, bank account or uh, with the with any uh, credit or debit card then the user will browse the app and then he will have to uh, buy or sell stocks after that when he makes his decision then he will uh, place the order and after that uh, he will execute the trade so what are the objectives of making this application first is it will provide the users about the real time stock market data including the stock prices and the news then it will make the stock trading as easy and convenient as possible then it will also help the users to manage their portfolios by providing tools to track performance set investment goals and diversify their holding so what are the features of our app application first is real time market data and news so uh, the stock trading application uh, must provide the users with the real time market data about the stock market then it will it should have some trading tools like charting tools and technical analysis tools so that the users may make good decisions uh, whether to buy or uh, not to buy the stocks then is the news alert like uh, when any stock goes high uh, so the uh, the user must be notified about it then customized watch list uh, so customized watch list uh, will always uh, notify the users about their favorite uh, stocks then it should have a payment gateway that should support all types of payments like net banking credit card debit card uh, upi etc next is customer support so it should uh, whenever any problem happens so the stock trading application should always have this customer support option uh, so that the users may get their problem solved so now how to build a stock trading application in java so first is you have to set up a development environment uh, like if you are building in spring boot then you have to install java then spring boot and the necessary libraries for building the application after that you have to choose your database and then you have to design the database schema uh, database like mysql uh, oracle or postgres sql and after that you have to design the tables the user tables and the stock data tables 
after that you have to create the structure of your application like including the name packages classes and interfaces after that you have to implement user authentication uh, through if uh, spring security then uh, then next you have to integrate real time stock data you can third party api like alpha vantage or yahoo finance after that you have to write the code to develop the trading tools such as charting technical analysis and indica indicators next you have to design the ui uh, uh, including all the modules of your application uh, the layout the menu and the functionality of each and every screen then uh, for safety you have to in implement security features like uh, any encryption authorization so that your uh, the user data are protected and the transactions are secure and after building the app you have to test the application to ensure that it meets the requirements and it is free from bugs or errors next is what are the requirements to build a stock trading application in java so hardware requirements so for building a professional stock trading application you need a hardware with a processor of uh, intel core i5 or higher ram 8 gb or higher storage ssd with at least 256 gb software requirements uh, you need a java development kit jdk 8 or higher then next is spring boot framework next is uh, any ide such as eclipse or intellij so that you can write your code then uh, web servers such as apache tomcat or jetty uh, a database such as mysql postgresql or oracle then next is third party apis for real time stock data such as alpha vantage or yahoo finance so conclusion Uh, the features of a stock trading app aim to provide users with the tools and resources they need to trade stocks effectively, manage their portfolios, and make informed investment decisions. Ah, uh, building a stock trading application in Java requires amount of time and effort. However, by using the right development tools and resources, you can create a robust and reliable application that meets the needs of the invest. so these are the references uh in you will learn how to build a stock trading app then how to create a trading app in java and how to do it in spring boot so thank you uh if you have any questions then you can contact me through my email id and this is my github account link I hope your presentation is from Malaysia. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so, can you tell me the name of your task? Ah, uh, it is a uh, overview of project synopsis talk application. Okay. Ah, uh, so and can you tell me ah uh, what was the objective of your task? Ah, uh, the main objective is that ah uh, to make a professional presentation which will ah uh, cover all the requirements of the. Uh, project. Okay. Ah, uh, so what was your project? Ah, uh, this only stock trading application. Okay. So what do you understand when you say stock trading application? Ah, uh, like ah, uh, this application users to buy and sell stocks online. Okay. Ah, uh, see. when it comes to feature you will need to do better prototyping okay uh, i believe it was not in depth but uh, it was a good information it was uh, well uh, i would say well documented and well formatted but it can be more in depth okay okay sir yeah. see you make sure that your entire design process and your entire development process is covered while doing this kind of presentation so if i look at your document i should be able to create a stock uh, market Or my team should be able to follow the uh, follow it, and uh, it should yes, be sir. able to create it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
it was more of like SRS document than a design and development process. Okay. okay. Yeah. So do more in depth because this kind of task needs need more in depth uh, research on. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sir. Okay, uh, then uh, thank you, Lainesha. Uh, we'll stop. Uh, you can stop. And rest of the people, uh, I believe Saurabh is taking another parallel session right now. So what you guys can do, you guys can also join his uh, presentation. Uh, if yeah, he has sent the link, you guys can go and join. So Manish and Kiran, you can stay. And other people who have joined recently, uh, you guys can go. And if you have any question, you can stay. After these two presentations, we will take your uh, general queries. Okay, Manish. Uh, sort of, if uh, not many people are joining, you can uh, just uh, simply stop. Okay, we will take the presentation here only. You can take a presentation of people who have joined your group. Yeah, Manish, please share the screen. And can you tell me the name of your task? You are not audible, Manish. Mic is not working. And uh, Bhumika, you can join Saurav Smith if you want. You are not audible yet, uh, Manish. Please check uh, if your mic is working properly or not. Can you test your mic in Zoom? In Zoom, you can, uh, if you click on the arrow icon, you can see the test option, test speaker and microphone, check if it is working. Else we can move on to other uh, people for now. So Manish, I will move on to Kiran. Yeah, Kiran. Hello, Kiran Varnay. How many you can stop the screen? Yeah, Kiran, now you can unmute. Yeah, Hello, sir. Yeah, uh, please turn your camera. Yes. Yeah, please start. My screen is visible, sir. It is loading. Yeah, now it is visible. Okay. Hello, sir. Good evening. This is my second task. I am Kiran Burney from Data Engineers Group. Uh, this is my second task. Uh, my presentation is uh, my presentation now set up an Azure Cloud account and create machine learning work machine learning workspace on it. Now today's agenda is, uh, first we see the overview of my project, then we see objects and goals, then we see how I uh, done my task, that means uh, steps, then conclusion. After that, we see the reference. 
Actually, Microsoft Azure is a cloud computing platform uh, that makes it uh, that makes it easy for business to create and deploy uh, our projects. And in this task, I learn how to create Azure cloud, Azure cloud, and machine learning workspace. And uh, we learn how to manage. Uh, first, uh, to, uh, to done this project, first I need to uh, go to the website and first add a cloud account. After that, uh, uh, we need to navigate um, a Microsoft Azure uh, services for machine learning and then create this on it. Let's see the steps. Uh, first, we need to uh, go Microsoft Azure website and sign up. Uh, first, uh, sign up. If you have already, then we don't need to sign up. Uh, we just sign in and go through. Then navigate machine learning work, uh, machine learning services. Then create machine learning workspace. And after that, create our workspace on it and deploy our uh, and deploy our process. Okay, let's see how to create. Uh, first, we need to create a, 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 a account and then sign in. After that, on top of the corner, there is a, one option, create resources. Uh, uh, after creating our resources, then search in that, uh, where is machine learning workspace. Then we choose, uh, then we choose machine learning workspace and then create and then Click on create to begin. After that, uh, providing the required information, uh, my work is ready. Any uh, across, uh, any machine learning models. Yes. Okay. Let's see how I done it. Okay, and this is uh, my uh, private uh, point for creating, you know, uh, private security. Yes. So can I go through a demonstration video? Yeah, you can. But make sure you are also sharing the sound. Okay, sir. Okay, first you need to create uh, uh, create resources. Okay, I want to create machine learning workspace. Sorry, Azure machine learning workspace. That's why I click on create. Okay, uh, actually, already I'm creating resource group. That's why I'm just click on and select my uh, Kiran resource group. 
I need to give workplace name that is unique it does not uh, give a workplace name same uh, we uh, we use uh, different names for creating workplace every time and give all the values of below selected Yeah, after uh, my my provide information is uh, a pass and then my validation is passed then i need to create click on create Now we see here my deployment is in progress. After deployment is successful, then uh, here is one option: uh, go to resources. Then we ah uh, yes, and after that, click on that. We need to deploy our models. Yes, here is uh, go to resources. Now my workspace is created here, and uh, after launching this studio. Yes, how we can build models here for machine learning. In this way, I done my second task.
Yeah, conclusion uh, of today's my topic is uh, we see a Microsoft Azure cloud account that is uh, we, uh, uh, Azure uh, provides services and platform for deployments and uh, Azure also provides storage. We does not need storage on your local computer. We store all the information or, or all the uh, models on cloud. That's why we doesn't need uh, storage. Yeah, and Microsoft Azure has a lot of infrastructure services. Uh, to complete this task, I refer a uh, Microsoft Azure uh, website that is uh, Microsoft.com for Azure machine learning and how to manage workspace and for creating machine learning, but uh, pricing tires. That's why the for this for this I choose. Microsoft.com pricing based details, uh, my machine learning website. Thank you for thank you, sir, for going uh, for all going through this project uh, briefly. Thank you, thank you so much. My presentation is over. Uh, your presentation is uh, over, correct? Yes. Uh, can you give me the name of your presentation again? Uh, your task name. Uh, yes, sir. Set up Azure Cloud account and uh, create machine learning workspace on it. Create machine learning workspace. Okay. Yes. I believe you forgot to add Q and slide, right? Yes, Hello. Uh, yeah. Hello, sir. Uh, uh, did you forgot to add the Q and slide? Which slide is, sir? Question and answer Q and slide. Okay. See, Actually, uh, remember, I... remember it next time. Okay, no issues. Uh, and even if you forget, that is not an issue, but uh, make sure to ask your audience if anyone has any question at the end. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Other than that, see, your explanation was good, I would say. But again, I, uh, as I said, try to give more scenario type presentation. So build a scenario. It will help you uh, build up a story. Okay which will be much better when it comes to presentation. Uh, having presentation like this, it feels like I'm just looking at the definitions of various, uh, like, you know, topics. And, uh, but your explanation was good. Uh, okay, your overall explanation, I would say it was really well done. You explained everything. Uh, but in your project demonstration, you need to improve. When you are giving a project demonstration, okay, so mm -hmm. always and always remember while giving your project demonstration, you shouldn't be, uh, try not to keep quiet during the, uh, like, you know, demonstration. Explain something that I can see on the screen. While uh, there was some time, it was taking a really long time for the validation, right? And then you click on create. So yes. during that time, you can simply explain some things that are on the screen, like what are the, uh, like, you know, groups uh, in the cloud. This is some of the things that are common for all cloud, you know, like Azure, AWS, some other thing. So know the basic stuff about the cloud. It is really a good thing when you know about cloud uh, because you don't have to just like, you know, know about your subject only. You can also explore other areas and cloud being one of the most common areas that are currently being uh, popular. You can always learn about that and try to explain that so that even if something is going on, like a loading screen is going on, try to explain why the loading is going on and try to explain the things that are visible on the screen. Okay. So it will help your, uh, uh, it will help you with your presentation. It will not look awkward like you're just sitting there and staring at the screen. Okay. Okay. So try to explain the little things that I can see on the screen. Okay. Other okay. than that, I would say it was really well done presentation. It was a live, de live demonstration. It was a really good thing. Okay, live demonstration are much appreciated than our screenshot. So that is a good thing. And uh, as I said, uh, remember to add q and that. It has uh, extra maps for that, okay? Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Thank you, Kiran. Uh, then we'll move on to Manish. You can stop the screenshot. Yes, sir. Yeah, Manish, I hope your mic is now fixed. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Now am I audible? Yeah, you are audible now. Can you confirm the name of your task? Sir, uh, yes, sir.
it is visible yeah uh, is this the name of your task uh, sir my task name is overview of project synopsis and my project is developing a stock screener application in python okay please start yes sir Good evening, sir. My name is Manish, and uh, I am going to present the project on uh, applic uh, application. Uh, sorry, developing a stock screener application in Python. As a stock screener, we know that uh, in a day-to-day -day life, many people are using stock apps and uh, to earn profits. They are some are facing difficulties. So, it is stock screener is an application that we we use. We get the information about the stocks. It's a high when it goes high. And when it goes low, and the uh, overall information about the stocks. So we are going to see how the agenda works. There is an I, have to, I will give the in introduction and how to use the stock screener, benefits of a stock screener, limitations of using stock screener, and popular some of the stock screeners and implementation in conclusion. So stock screener is a process of filtering stocks based on specific criteria. So different people. Uh, need different types of stocks so they they according to their criteria they filter their stocks they search uh, on it and they get their stocks on the screen the purpose of using a stock screener is to identify potential investments that meet the desired requirements there are various parameters that can be used for screening individual marketing capitalization price, price to earning ratio divid, dividend yield and many more a stock screener can be an essential tool for investors who want to save time and effort in identifying profitable investment. As I said, a stock screener gives us uh, information about the overall stocks. It's uh, how it's a uh, um, yield ratio and, uh, and price to price earning ratio. So people will get the overall knowledge of the stock, how it's been working still many days in these years. And how to use a stock screener. We use a stock screener effectively. Investors must first determine their investment goals and risk tolerance. Next, they should select the parameters they want to use for screening, such as market capitalization or price to price earning ratio. Once the criteria are set, the stock screener will generate a list of stocks that meet the selected parameters. Investors can then analyze the data for further and make informed decisions about which stocks to invest in. Yes, sir. As they get their uh, effective data on the what they search, they will get there, and they it will be easy to the people to select the stocks and have give the price to their stocks. Benefits of st using stock screener. Using a stock screener can help in, in visitors save time and reduce the risk of making poor investments decisions. As some people, uh, uh, as some people do. Uh, Make money by many of the people make money by stocks, but uh, some of them without any without thinking any much they apply they give their money in the stocks and they have to take the poor they get the poor yield. So stock screener is also useful to get the overall knowledge. So by filtering out stocks that do not meet the criteria, investors can focus on the stocks that are most likely to meet their investment goals. In addition, stock screener tool can help investors discover new investment opportunities. That they may not have considered otherwise. Some of the people don't know the stocks, how they are working, and this they, they can also get the knowledge from the stock screener. They can also help investors stay on top of market trends and changes, allowing them to adjust their investment strategies accordingly. These were the benefits of the stock screener. There are some limitations of a stock screener that people also get to know. While stock screener tools stock screener tools can be useful they are not foolproof Some, sometimes uh, you don't get as the market fails it can't predict by the future so sometimes it will be harmful to us investors should be aware of the limitations of these tools and use them in conjunction with their own research and analysis so the person should do have their little research and analysis on the stock they should not purely uh, do their earning on stock screener. For example, some stocks may need meet all all our investors screening criteria, but still fail to perform well due to external factors such as economic conditions or industry trends. 
the additional stock screener tools may not take into account quantitative factors such as management quality or company culture so there are some popular stock screener apps there are available online both free and paid some popular options include finways yahoo finance and jacks investment research each screener has its own unique feature and parameters so it is important for investors to choose on the best suits their needs finways offers wide range of filters and allows user to create custom screens so this is an implementation of uh, our project we are using an uh, alpha vantage as api to get the information from the stocks pandas pandas are used to get the information from the site in conclusion in conclusion a stock screener is valuable tool for investors to save time and make objective investment decision it saves time so people get to know the information easily by giving some searching some stocks or what they need by using a stock screener investors can quickly narrow down the list of stocks they need to analyze and discover new investment opportunities however it is important to keep in mind that limitations of stock screener and use them as a starting point for further research and analysis ultimately the key of success successful investing is to hold a solid investment strategies and to stay disciplined in executing the strategies these are the references any questions thank you uh, i hope your presentation is done yes sir okay see it was a good presentation i would say it was in form well in form well explained but it looked quite rushed Okay, because it was not quite in depth. We need more yes, in depth sir. presentation, and we need more in depth knowledge on the uh, topic. So when you have something like this, make sure to like uh, have more uh, like you know in depth explanation on how things are actually going to work. If yes. I give you a team who will work on the stock uh, trading scanner app, then what are the roadmap or timeline that they can follow? Okay, just have yes, a rough uh, timeline. It okay. need not to be a really like you know uh, a strict timeline where everyone uh, that is not uh, not what we want. We just want a rough timeline where everyone can get a uh, like you know an idea of what is actually going on, so okay, that sure. everyone is on the same page when creating this project uh, while creating this project. And also uh, when you are giving examples about uh, some of the key players that are already in this uh, like you know yes, uh, in uh, this domain. So. Yes, try to go in more uh, in depth on what makes your app different from this okay sir yes sir okay have this kind of mindset that when i'm uh, like you know creating something when i'm doing something what is uh, different is yes, my sir. app more faster is it more scalable or is it is does this have new feature or am i like you know plotting or showing the graphs in a much better way or uh, what like makes my uh, software unique okay sir. that is important when sense. you are giving uh, a, like you know when you are including a, a, about some of the already key uh, important players that are already in the domain i believe in some of the slide you have these names like uh, yahoo finance or something okay yeah yes yeah, so when you have yeah. these names make sure to give some kind of uh, like you know um, tell us like what is different in your application okay sir. Yes. Okay, it can be theoretical, okay, but uh, have your uh, mindset and have your thinking on that level too. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Other to... than that, it was good. And on the thank you slide, I would recommend to add uh, your email address so that people can reach out to you. Okay, because when you say if anyone has any question and they don't have any question, you can simply wait for like five to seven seconds to see if anyone has any question and then move on. To say that uh, this is my email. If you want, you can uh, uh, send your queries there instead of saying thank you. Okay, because when you say thank you, it looks like uh, that you are grateful that we sat through your entire presentation. Don't be like that. Say that when you are giving a presentation, have a mindset that you are telling me something that is useful to me, and I should I should be thankful for thankful that I sit for your presentation. Yes, okay? sir. So have it on the screen, but don't say it out loud. 
it will make it more professional and it will also like you know go along with your QA thing that that you have said if you just yes, stop sir. after saying QA and then go on to thank you it doesn't look uh, good right mm -hmm. yes sir. yeah and other than that i would say try to give more scenarios okay build a scenario and then go on to explanation it will help you build a story Yes. And it will help you, like, you know, see if there is some person who is not familiar with this concept. If you give a scenario, then he can also try to imagine, like, what is actually going on. And it will be much easier for him to understand or stay with you throughout, throughout your conversation. Okay, sir. Yeah. 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 Yes. Other than that, it was, uh, in terms of explanation, it was really well. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'll okay, try so to do next. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So we'll move on to uh, Gita Negi. Sorry, sir, sir. I need um, I need to connect with the Saurabh, sir. Uh, you Maybe. want to but give I the presentation? To connect with. No, no, uh, sir. I can, but I am not right now connected with my phone so that I can ask you why I am not, not able to connect with Saurabh, sir. Uh, it's his host is uh, no no actually he is conducting my meeting okay it must have ended you can give your presentation to me directly no issue you can join through your laptop and uh, in this meeting and uh, give your presentation yeah Please share this one. Sorry, sir. Please share the screen and can you confirm your topic then? Yes, sir. My, my topic is synopsis, overview of project synopsis. Okay, please share the screen and start. My name is Gita Negi. I'm from a full staff web developer group. Today, I'm going to talk on an overview of project synopsis. We will first start with the introduction, then key features, technologies, challenges, wireframe, and at last, conclusion. First, so imagine you are an investor. You, you are an investor who wants to track the stock market news and market trends and other information so that you can be informed in this make an informed decision about your investment too. however you find it um, hard to access uh, and uh, all, all the information in one place that's where our website will become the purpose of this website will be to provide investors with the valuable to, um, tools to track their investment in real time with features such as user authentication and security then if it will be a, we will provide user friendly interface make so that they can make it a informed decision about their investment. Key feature, what will be the key feature of our website? First will be a real time stock market data from APIs and user authentication and security features, easy to understand format and responsive design. Technology, these are the technology that uh, we are going to use while creating a website. I will explain how we are going to increase and use this technology in later slides. Now, main question arises, what are the challenges we are going to face while creating this website? First will be implementing, how we are going to implement user authentication and security feature. Second will be how we are going to pull real-time stock market data from API. And third will be, how we are going to display data in easy to understand format. Now we will look at the wireframe. 
we are going to create a user friendly and interactive and dynamic user interface using react.js and css this this is a login and sign up button once we um, the user click on this um, the user um, login and sign up form will pop up once he done with all the process of signing up the he will be redirected to the dashboard where um, this the stock market data is pulled from a alpha vantage api there is a user profile section where he can also update change password update their settings we are going to use node.js express js and mongodb to manipulate user authentication and data manipulation and data retrieval Oh, 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 sorry, I forget to one, mention one thing. We are going to use, create a login and sign up form for user authentication using a um, JSON web token. Then there is a news section. We are going to fetch news relevant to stock market from using a news API. There is also a search section so that user can easily search for the topic. And finally, conclusion, the real-time stock market data web application is a valuable tool for investors who want to track their investment in real time with features such as user authentication security to protect user data. This is a reference, a quick image I used in a wireframe and my contact details, then feel free to ask me any question. Thank you. I hope your presentation is done. Hello, Pita, can you confirm sir? if your presentation is done? Sorry, sir. Is your presentation done? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. See, your presentation was really well made, I would say, okay. You had proper wireframes and everything, but uh, you need to work on your presentation skills, okay. Your explanation needs more improvement, okay. You had a really great content, but it was lacking with the, when you, it comes to the expression. It needs to be more in-depth, okay. Can you go to your wireframes? See, you have a good wireframes, but I believe you were not able to uh, explain them properly. And uh, does uh, in this task, do you need to show some data on the chart? Mm, sorry, sir. Uh, do you need to show some kind of data in the chart? No, sir. Okay, okay, no issues. See, uh, it was it is a good wireframe, but uh, I believe you were not able to explain it properly. Okay. See, when you have wireframes, you need to explain why those components are there. Whatever the component is uh, at some place, say like text describing about the website, it is on the left side and it is centered. You need to explain why it is there, why, what kind of uh, like, you know, technique you are following or what kind of uh, thought process you had when you were creating this uh, website. Okay, that can be more in-depth, but it was lacking somewhere, okay. Uh, because when you are creating some kind of uh, wireframe, if you are not able to explain it properly, all the hard work that you have put in your work, it will not be there, okay? We will not be able to verify <laughs> if it was really well done, okay? So work on your explanation skill and make sure that you are able to explain your projects more uh, clearly. Okay, okay. It is okay if presentation is not that good, okay? But your uh, actual task, that explanation should be very uh, good, okay? You need to put more effort in that so that whatever task you are doing, that is getting explained really well. And again, for creating a story, you can create a scenario, uh, give a scenario type presentation. Yes, sir. Yeah.
Thank okay, Gita. Uh, then thank you for your presentation. Uh, then I believe we, you are the last person. Then we can end the meeting uh, for now. So I will wait for a minute or two. If no one joins, then I will end the meeting. You can uh, leave if you want. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. You are free to go.